Welcome everybody to Rare World Coins. Hopefully the information I've provided you on my previous videos are helpful in targeting your collection as far as how you want to collect, what you want to collect, right? To get the best in, not just as a collector, but also as in value and something that you can see as it grows through the years, okay? And when it's time for you to liquidate, you don't have a problem getting back what you put in, okay? Uh, so today we have is a Great Britain crown from 1953, the coronation. It's graded NGC proof 64 cameo. Uh, it's a very nice coin. It's not the best, best coin. Um, I would be targeting coins uh, predict this particular year in 64, 67, but as of yet, I have not found a 67. I've seen 66 and 65, and I've seen Cameo and Ultra Cameo. So those really are premium coins, and you will end up paying more normally, and they would... And of course, the devices will be pretty much all white with really deep mirrors. Now, the 1953 is um, limited to, I think, about 25,000 sets. And so most of these crowns were broken from the sets. And of course, these coins are just sitting in the sets exposed to air and people handling the coins. And so many of these coins, normally you'll see heavily toned. Uh, and of course, with scratches, hairlines, uh, impairments due to handling um, of the coins, okay? Once in a while, you'll find one that is extremely, exceptionally clean of those things. Those are premium coins that you want to purchase and keep. This one here isn't so bad. Very nice, exceptionally clean of heavy contacts. The device sticks out very well. Uh, if this was more white, which would be like an ultra cameo, that would be preferred. Uh, but as far as the condition for this coin, it's very nice coin. Uh, good design, very popular with Queen Elizabeth on horse. Limited mintage of around 25,000. Uh, all came from proof sets. Okay. And like I said, the majority of these coins were pretty much uh, badly handled. So lots of impaired coins or they are badly toned. Uh, on the reverse are the crowns in the shields of Great Britain. Very nice. Uh, devices are nice frosty and with deep mirror. This is a copper nickel coin. This is not silver, but very heavily collected by US, British Commonwealth and world coin collectors. Very popular coin, low mintage. If you see one in 65 or better, definitely I would consider those as a good purchase. And if they are not heavily toned, but brilliant as this, consider that a, a really good purchase, okay? Uh, in 66, 67, uh, these coins may run you a couple of thousand dollars. In 64 grade, they'll run you between 300 uh, to 450. In 65, around 500 to 700, depending how nice it is. And of course, at 67, definitely we're talking about a 15 to $2,000 coin. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, if you can pick one up, a good coin to add to your collection. Beautiful coin always in demand, has very nice appeal. You won't go wrong in adding this coin to your collection. Hopefully this information is helpful, helpful to you. 
uh, if you like what you hear and you like what you see, and hopefully you can look at my previous uh, videos on other coins from around the world. Hopefully they'll help you out in giving you an idea what countries to collect. Uh, there are so many different countries and a lot of countries with beautiful coins with beautiful designs and collecting this individually or a series of coins from each country is very, very nice. But then again, be sure you have the appeal, the scarcity, and the demand before you start collecting those coins. A little bit of research will help you out because these coins definitely will continue to grow in value. Hopefully this information will be helpful to you. If you like what you hear, now please subscribe to my channel. And until next time.